gentlemen, I'm Chad with CD Shaving. Thank you very much for joining me for today's head shave and a sample. That's right, this sample in a uh, sample in a shave series that I have. Yeah, I do just because I have a bunch of samples laying around and I wanted to use them up. They deserve to be used and a lot of them are great stuff. And today is no exception. We got Stingray by Through the Fire Fine Craft. But before we get into that, let's get into the holiday of the day. Today is National Rosa Parks Day, so I'll celebrate that. That's a great uh, woman who um, I believe I uh, set quite the mark in history. So I'm not even gonna get into what she did. I want you to look that up for yourself. Read about it, it's a great story. Uh, most of you probably already know about it who's watching this video because you've had elementary history, uh, high school history, high school history and elementary history. Anyway, still a little early for me. Having said that, moving on to the next holiday of the day, thank a mailman day. Mailman do work hard, although they do deliver packages, sometimes to the incorrect addresses. It is not always their fault. And just wanted to say when they're out there, thank you very much for what you're doing. And if you see your mailman or mailwoman, thank them. They deserve a thanks for today. All right, having said that, let's get into the shape. As I said, we are due profiling a uh, sample here, Stingray by Through the Fire Fine Craft. There is the label there. I found it on maggardrazors.com and that was the first site that it showed up on. As you can see, it's available for $15.95. Currently, they have six in the stock. Full star review, as it should be. Five ounce container. I mean, you can't really ask for too much more. It's a pretty nice size uh, amount that you get for the $15.95. I don't believe that's including shipping, by the way. Having said that, this type of, uh, this particular soap is almost like a cream. So he's, I got a little bit of water on that just to kind of get it started, but it's very, very, I mean, I wouldn't even say it's a croak. This is definitely a cream, this particular sample anyway. As far as how it comes in the full tub, I'm not really sure. This is just the sample that I procured. Now, it's kind of a, uh, well, if I'm reading it off the description, uh, it's got classic blast of bergamot, geranium, lavender, cedarwood, and oak. Um, this soap used to be called spring fern that was uh years ago they had before they went to whole car theme that's what it was called so it's kind of you know it's a fougier based scent and having said that i am going to use an aftershave called vet <clears throat> right there that is my lovely bride and that is her father's corvette this is a great scent. It's basically an homage, uh, homage, homage, homage to uh, Brute. And I thought that would go perfect with this particular soap since I don't have the matching aftershave as it's only uh, a sample. Speaking of the aftershave, before we get into the aftershave, we'll be using Thayer's Witch Hazel. <clears throat> In the JD spray bottle, as far as the brush is concerned, we're going to wring this right out. Lancaster brush, brush Works. Or the badge or not. You can see right there. This has been soaking. Actually, I'm going to put it back in the mug. Soaking in my occupation mug. Also given to me by my bride. For the razor, I'm sorry, excuse me, for the blade, it's going to be feather. And for those of you that really care, this is on its fourth use. Probably going to be its final use. Now, let's talk about the razor. Because that's a little bit of a highlight for me today. And then you'll understand why in a minute. <clears throat> This box right here, these are my initials, was made to, for me by my daughter for Christmas. This is awesome. It used to be a cigar box and she basically put these metal hinges on it here, these uh, little feet to have it sit on. <clears throat> and it was just an empty box, right? It had like, a, you know, it has a little magnetic clasp. And I said to myself, boy, I have a razor that would fit in that. I got a Rockwell 6C. And what I did was, I reached out to Frugal Shave and I asked him to make me a template that would fit inside this box she made for me, which she said could be used for whatever I wanted, and said that, uh, and he said that he could do it. So I love the Rockwell 6C. Uh, I've used it a bunch of times. I really like it, but the problem is, I just there's so many pieces I didn't really have a place to put it. Now Frugal Shave does offer a stand for this. But I wanted something that could go possibly in this, and he definitely obliged. 
So it all goes in there and it fits in there perfectly and the lid closes with a little magnetic clasp here. And this sits right on top of my bureau. Definitely not a travel case by any means and it's not meant to be. It's just something to store my Rockwell in. So having said that, let's talk about the Razor. We are 6C. <clears throat> this is not the 6S. It is not stainless steel. C stands for chrome, I believe. Uh, here's the top plate right there. The way that this particular Razor works is it, it change, you can, it's adjustable by different plates as opposed to turning a dial. So as you can see here, this one says R1. If you want to change it to the next aggression level, there's another plate that has the R2 on it, but you turn this one around and it goes to R3. And so on and so forth, all the way up to R6. I've used each and every one of these. Uh, I love using adjustables, especially for if I have a bad shave or like I cut myself. And a couple weeks ago, I really whacked myself good twice on the head, but I still wanted to continue the head shave, so I went... I used the Rockwell and I went down to, uh, I believe, a setting one or two, which is really, really mild. And I was able to get good shaves out of it that looked all right, but uh, it didn't really bother the cuts that I had and allowed them a chance to heal. So, this case today, we are going to use setting six. The way you use the setting six, with any of the settings, you take your blade and your top cap, drop it in. Whichever number is facing you is the one, is the setting you're going to be on. So I just push it in there and it sits in there like that. And then you just take the handle, like any other three piece, and screw it in. And there you go, rocking and rolling, ready to go. As you can see, um, it's got a significant blade gap to it, and the only thing I'm not a huge fan of is the blade sticks out on the top a little bit. It's not a major deal. Can you see that against my hand? It's not a major, major deal. It, would this prevent me from purchasing the razor? No, but I just kind of expect, I like to have the blade, the top of the blade completely covered for when I go to twist it on. It's just a personal preference. I found this razor, uh, especially this setting, to be nice and aggressive. At the same time, uh, very smooth. It's a very, very smooth shaver. Uh, I like aggressive shavers, but uh, <clears throat> sometimes I just want a nice smooth shave as well. And some of the aggressive stuff that I have is aggressive and does what I need it to do, but it's not all that smooth, so I have to be real careful with it. All right, throw some water up on the head. Now let's get into uh, running off the brush here. Let's start lathering. Now I expect this not to take very long because it's a cream and I've got a ton of it in there because it's a sample and I can. I don't care. It's mine. <laughs> yep. She really has nice stuff. Maria over at um, <clears throat> Through the Fire Fine Craft just has an excellent, excellent, excellent soap base. Oops. And I've done a bunch of reviews on her stuff. <clears throat> and those of you that may have used her stuff or may not have used her stuff, check out some of my other reviews. I've done Super B, I've done um, Stang, <clears throat> done a bunch of them. And they're just, they're just awesome, awesome scents. And the performance, in my opinion, the performance of her soap is extremely, extremely underrated. I'm doing a lot of pushing with this. 
you still see there's a lot of suds in there. It's just because I'm, I put so much of that cream in that I'm having a hard, I have to kind of push down to get it to, otherwise it's just gonna smear it around the bowl. Still a little, uh, little sudsy, but you can a little sudsy. But I put a lot of water in this too. And there's still soap in the bottom of that bowl, so we're just gonna use it right back up here, add it to the mixture. All gone. And that was, a pretty, that was a pretty big sample. This brush is completely loaded and I've got a ton left in there. So this is a really nice soap base. All right, let's get this shave happening here. <clears throat> I always like to heat up my razor. I like to put it in the water. I know there are people out there that do not do that for whatever reason. They, uh, some say that it's because the cold blade somehow shaves better. I, I don't, I don't particularly think that's true for me. But as I always push, everybody is different. You cannot put a general term and expect it to fit everybody. You can't say, well, this stuff, this razor sucks for everybody. Don't ever buy this. That's the thing. I don't I don't usually tell anybody not to buy something because there are people out there that have used stuff that I can't stand. And they love it. And I think to myself, oh, that stuff sucks. But so I will be doing later on today a five, four, three, two, one video. If you don't know what that is, give it a watch and you'll see. I was tagged to do it by DK Damn Fine Shave. Great guy. He has a lot of great, or he just started his YouTube channel. Um, he's got some great videos going up, but he's got a lot of great Instagram posts. Instagram or Facebook? I think it's Instagram. I primarily see him on. Man, this razor is so smooth. I love the way it just glides. <clears throat> and it, sometimes it feels like you almost wonder if it's not cutting, but it absolutely is. Now the scent on this soap, I don't think we talked about that too much. It's extremely light. It's almost barely there. Um, but it is, <clears throat> it is there, and it is just, but it's, so if you are one of those people that doesn't like a huge heavy scent, this is definitely something to go with. Um, it's nice, I like the scent, it's just not heavy. And um, so having said that, if you've got a Fougier or a, even a woodsy scent, like uh, the one that comes to mind is, um, I can never say it and I own it, by, by Talbot Shave. Um, 
Chittanooga. I, I don't know. I don't know. Sorry, dude, but I, I just can't say it. It's got a green label. Kind of swirly. I own it. Love it. That, that tells me would, that right there would go good with this, scent wise, for an aftershave. But And it's a little bit stronger than the soap. But you really can kind of put anything with this almost because it's that light. Just about done with our second pass here. I mean, I can still, I can more or less hear the blade, but I can hear it in my head. Not meaning that. I can hear it like as if you block your ears and you kind of go over a bump in the car, you can kind of hear it that way. I don't really hear it in, I don't think you guys can hear it. it does kind of sound minimally crazy though. I don't think you guys can hear the noises I'm hearing. I'm hearing lots of noises. <clears throat> so I've recruited somebody into the wet shaving world as of late. It happens to be a guy. Wow, this, I'm just caking this this soap on because I've got so much of it in the bowl. This is not even necessary for these subsequent passes, but I just I love wet shaving so. Anyway, so I recruited this guy into uh, the wet shaving world, and he has, take off my Yoda ears, see how the stuff hangs over like that, because I put so much on there. Anyway, uh, so he has definitely, definitely taken to it. Which is awesome. But it was, it's funny because it wasn't long after uh, I kind of convinced him to try it or whatever. And I, I sold him on the fact, one of the things I sold him on the fact is it'll save you money. And I think it was maybe, it was less than a month I ended up getting that. He got way into it. I mean, he fell right down that rabbit hole. And I get the, <clears throat> the text message that I've gotten before. I thought this was supposed to save me money. And it is, it will, if you stick to it just for shaving. But the hobby part of it, it's like any other hobby. You're gonna spend money. That, I mean, hobbies are hobbies. They're not, they're not there to make you money. You're, you're gonna spend money that you're never gonna recoup. recoup. soap that's left in there. I just went to town on this lather. And I still have about half the sample left. I used about half of it. I could probably get out of that, <clears throat> out of this thing here. I've got about half the container left. I could probably get another five, six shaves anyway out of that, at least. <coughs> Mm. 
Okay. Against the grain. <clears throat> now, the thing about this razor, too, I don't think I've actually done a profiling on this, so I'll talk a little bit about it. I like this razor because it's, it's, it is adjustable, and I'm a big fan of adjustable razors. If you don't have one in your den, I highly recommend you grab one. Uh, unless, of course, you're a straight, straight razor shaver, and then that's kind of a moot point. But, ah. Uh, I like that it's adjustable, but I like that it's adjustable without moving parts. Moving parts make me nervous, especially in something you plan on keeping for a long time, or in the case of like the Gillette Slim adjustables, something that it's you can't really get parts for. Slim uh, adjustables <clears throat> are readily available. I mean, for, especially for something that's that's you know, discontinued, but, and that, that goes with the fat boy too, same idea, but if you, you know, you really break something on it, it's not like you can call the company and say, can you send me another pair of doors, because you just can't, they don't have them, that, to my knowledge. So this, because it's adjustable by plates, the plate idea, um, I'm going to go out on a limb and say it was pioneered by them because I don't recall another adjustable razor with plates that's, that came out before this. I could be wrong, and if I'm wrong on that for you razor enthusiasts, sorry, that's, but that, that's, I'm just going on what I think. So uh, I like the fact that there's no moving parts and... <clears throat> less to break. I mean, they're plates. It's kind of like a car. Yeah, look at that stuff. Kind of like a car, right? You get a car that you plan on keeping for a real long time, meaning like beyond 20, 30 years maybe, because you just love it that much. And I'm not talking about a Chevy Chevette here, something you know, worthy. Um, I'd be the first person to say I don't want power windows because there's all kinds of things that can go wrong with power windows. You get the actuator, <clears throat> you got cables, you've got buttons, fuses, regular windows in a car, like the hand crank ones. You've got the strap inside the door, a couple of clips, and a hand crank. That's it. Not too much other than that. <clears throat> you take the door panel off and you can take pretty much repair it all yourself. So I like things that I plan on keeping for a long time to have minimal options. And razors, are no different. I, I love my slim adjustable and I love my fat boy and I won't get rid of them. I'm just saying they, you know, there's always something in the back of my mind that what if the spring breaks or whatever. And I'm sure there's people out there that I don't know about that make, can manufacture parts for those. If I ask like an artisan or somebody that has more money than I do that has a machine that can make stuff for those, but I'm sure it's not cost effective. And <clears throat> I don't know anybody that does that. So I'm very careful with those two razors, those specifically. Again, why I like straights, because there's less moving parts. Especially vintage straights. When you go commissary, you got nothing. So, 
other than the blade. Anybody else like that? Feel that way about that? That type of stuff? That's alright, I'm probably the only one. Alright, let's check it out here. Yeah, there's that residual slickness. Even though I just wiped it all off, I can still feel it. That is DOP status. That was a shitty snap. My fingers are wet and slick, so. Clean off the brush. Just dry the tips. Make sure when you're cleaning it off, you don't shake it more than three times or you're playing with it. What movie is that from? Uh, and uh, I usually only dry the tip. There we go. Bowl, give that a dunk. Say goodbye to all that extra unnecessary lather that I made. Sun's coming out, that's good. And I got some errands to run. Clean. <clears throat> now, as far as the razor is concerned, sometimes this stuff takes a film. This particular razor, I've noticed. See that? It'll come off. A little isopropyl alcohol, or even just wiping it with the towel, and it pretty much comes off. So there's no sweat there. If you're really anal you know, like I am and you don't like the soap in between the, the grooves, or like I don't, that drives me nuts. Just take a toothbrush to it and you really don't even, you can put <clears throat> like Dawn dish detergent on it or something if you really want to, but it'll pretty much wipe off with the toothbrush and a little isopropyl alcohol. But for the most part, it's all clean. And this blade is going in the trash. <clears throat> yeah, that's clean-ish. I'll clean the rest of it later. There's witch hazel. One, two. Okay. Now, while we let that dry for a second, just want to take a, uh, a second. If there's anything you guys want to see on my channel, anything you want to see me review, profile, uh, just try out, use, whatever, let me know. Give me a heads up. I'll see what I can do to get it. And we'll go from there because uh, I don't have a problem doing that. I definitely take requests. If it's something that I can, I can accommodate, I certainly will. So uh, having said that, aftershave. Brute-ish. Oh. This stuff is classic. This is just... To me, it's not something I use all the time. <clears throat> this isn't something I use all the time, but when I do, I like to use it on the weekends. <laughs> It, to me, it just screams weekend shave. I don't know why, it just does. Weekend shave, trip to the hardware store, that type of thing. All right, so that's the shave. We're done, shave, sample and a shave. Ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate you watching. If you have any questions or comments, please put it in the section below. If you have not subscribed, please do so. But make sure you knock that bell. That way you get a new notific or notification every time we do a new video here at CD Shaving because again, I do not follow a schedule. I do it when I do it. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I am Chad from CD Shaving. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me. If you shave, have a great shave. Have a great rest of the day. We'll see you guys and girls in the next video.